My name is Yunus Aksoy. I'm a reader in economics. Uh, I'm uh, 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 working at the uh, School of Business, Economics and Informatics, uh, Department of Economics, Mathematics and Statistics. Broadly speaking, I'm working on uh, macroeconomics. It's about monetary economics, as a central bank design, um, the interaction between the financial markets and uh, macroeconomic outcomes. Um, as well as uh, recently I start to work on issues uh, that are more kind of a medium term, uh, like demographic transition and its impact on the macroeconomic uh, variables, the financial uh, variables, etc. Um, well, macroeconomics is a very big uh, uh, area of research, uh, um, but uh, uh, I mean the financial uh, crisis, the global financial crisis definitely had an impact. Uh, the way um, uh, priorities have been uh, uh, redefined. Um, and just currently, uh, there is, I think, a uh, uh, large amount of research being devoted to understand the dynamics that led to the global financial crisis and also um, research being devoted how to avoid uh, this type of crisis to happen again. Um, and that has been done uh, both, you know, uh, theoretically as well as uh, empirically. Uh, so just um, people try to develop models uh, in an internally consistent way uh, uh, that try to address the uh, issues that led to the global financial crisis as well as the outcomes that one won't like to avoid to recur again. I'm the director for the Birkbeck Center for Applied Macroeconomics now. Uh, and we um, uh, consolidate the uh, existing uh, macroeconomic research strengths, basically, of the department, uh, which, is, uh, which is a very high reputation uh, um, in the UK as well as outside of the UK. Uh, and then we uh, organize workshops, uh, uh, a conference that will happen in May uh, this year, and, uh, um, and then yeah, uh, promote, basically, Birkbeck uh, economics research uh, to outside world. So the center will have a uh, I think an important role in uh, um, disseminating the information coming out of the department. So I'm interested in uh, studying uh, uh, um, uh, the interactions within the financial markets and uh, the uh, macroeconomy at the moment. Uh, that's one aspect. So that's basically uh, um, done within the uh, so-called dynamic stochastic general equilibrium modeling. Uh, and that addresses basically short-term fluctuations in macroeconomic variables. So like output, inflation, uh, um, employment, unemployment, uh, uh, and uh, their association with the development in the financial sector. So that's basically one uh, issue that I'm uh, working on, and I, will, I can elaborate on that uh, in a second. And the second uh, um, uh, relatively uh, recent interest that I developed over uh, uh, the couple of uh, years is basically the impact of uh, um, deep transitions in macroeconomic variables, like for instance demographics, how it basically affects uh, um, uh, macroeconomic variables and financial variables uh, 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 beyond the business cycle frequency, so beyond the short term uh, uh, fluctuations of the variables. So basically I'll, I'm interested in to understand how the demographic transitions globally uh, has an impact uh, um, on output, inflation, interest rates, uh, uh, again, I mean, employment, basically everything that matters for macroeconomic environment uh, are affected over, say, uh, beyond 20 quarters, so uh, roughly speaking, five years and beyond. Um, so, and uh, uh, that's basically the uh, second uh, kind of major <laughs> research uh, interest that I developed recently. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, um, so my I mean, last uh, uh, three, four years, I would say, uh, was very much focused on the incorporation of the banking uh, uh, and financial intermediation in the macroeconomic models, uh, both theoretically and empirically. Uh, um, and I am interested in how uh, um, uh, banks basically uh, act in a macroeconomic environment that may accelerate or decelerate uh, um, say uh, financial shocks uh, uh, to the macroeconomic environment, which has been uh, uh, unfortunately a bit sidelined before the financial crisis. So just because the macro models basically did not really care too much uh, about uh, thinking carefully about the financial intermediation and its role in, uh, uh, in macroeconomics, uh, it was assumed that the uh, 
markets are efficient, so financial markets are efficient, so that really provided a kind of a shortcut to uh, deal with uh, key uh, uh, modeling uh, problems. Uh, but now we understand that basically this was really not the case. There were a lot of imperfections associated with the financial intermediation process, which has large implications uh, on the um, on the um, on the macroeconomic uh, uh, dynamics. Um, and uh, um, so one particular research basically looks at the role of the banks as being the uh, uh, maturity transforming agent in the, uh, in the economy and how they basically issue loans, the long-term loans versus uh, you know, the central bank's short-term rates, how that we can characterize the so-called term spreads and its impact on the real economic outcome. So we try to endogenize basically um, banking sector's uh, activities uh, uh, in a uh, um, parsimonious macroeconomic model that's now forthcoming in Economic Journal uh, with my co-author, Henry Cabasso. We wrote uh, a couple of papers on these issues and Javier Cotto Martinez in earlier parts of the project. Um, and more recently, I'm interested in basically um, uh, how all this securitization practice uh, uh, that has been uh, uh, very prevalent basically to the buildup of the financial crisis uh, um, uh, basically affected the asset prices in general. Um, and uh, again, with my co-author, Henry Cabasso, who is working at the Banco de Spana and former PhD student of Bur at Burpec. Uh, so if you look at the um, increased securitization impact on the asset prices, how the risk profile of different type of assets uh, have been changing over time with the um, uh, preferences of the banks to offload, if you like, uh, uh, um, uh, um, certain uh, uh, assets from their balance sheets to uh, 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 off-balance sheets vehicles, uh, so the special purpose vehicles, for instance. And we find that basically, indeed, the securitization led to a major decline in the risk up to the build-up of the crisis. And then by 2007, the markets completely froze and the securitization simply disappeared. So it's not too surprising that actually when the financial markets stopped acting, uh, 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 we're, act we're not anymore active players in the uh, financial markets, in the securitization market. Uh, the uh, economies uh, simply stopped functioning. So it was, uh, uh, there was a direct link basically uh, up to the buildup of the financial crisis that we can see uh, in that particular empirical and theoretical evidence. Um, yeah. Again, for the project that uh, I have with uh, Henrique Basso uh, from uh, Bank of Spain, Banco de España, uh, um, I got a, uh, um, the school grant uh, 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 and that allowed basically uh, to travel uh, uh, so for me and for, for Henrique uh, uh, just he's uh, located in Madrid and I'm in uh, London so just I spent basically about a week uh, in Madrid to uh, complete the, uh, one of the papers there and then he came uh, I think in three times basically to London uh, to work on these issues uh, um, so, uh, yeah, basically associated with the financial uh, uh, markets and uh, uh, real macroeconomic environment, uh, we got a, a, a school grant for which I'm grateful. So we basically present our work in conferences, uh, uh, in workshops. I'm SESI for a Network Fellow, which is based in Munich. They organize basically early workshops. Uh, they uh, um, uh, so I go to conferences, international sort of select uh, conference. I don't like to go to major conference anymore. So when I was a PhD student, it was a good opportunity to see you know these uh, very diverse topics. But I now tend to go to more sort of a small scale workshops. There are regular uh, seminar invitations, so departmental seminars for which you have uh, uh, much more time actually to present your work. So I uh, present the work uh, uh, in different places. I mean, I'm flying to uh, the Central Bank of Turkey in uh, April. Uh, I was in uh, December the City University of London. So just, well, there are all these basic dynamics going on. Um, but I mean, the channels uh, uh, of presenting basically are well set. And then we have the working paper series uh, 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 um, that's basically associated with the department. So we just this link direct to the REPEC archive. Uh, so that basically allows uh, sort of you know the uh, drafts of the uh, work to be already available to the uh, rest of the world. And finally, when it's published, of course, just ultimate uh, uh, aim is just to publish in a very high-profile journal uh, uh, and. Economics is very good in measuring the uh, rank, so measuring the uh, quality of journals. So we are almost like obsessed, uh, which is not so much uh, in other disciplines, I think. But uh, I mean, almost everybody globally knows 
what a publication means, basically, in the economics field. So if you publish in a certain journal, uh, it's important compared to another one. So there's a, and these are very well measured. So we, we try to aim as high as we can. I'm teaching basically macroeconomics for uh, uh, the MSc economics. Uh, I'm teaching international macroeconomics again for the uh, MSc uh, economics program. Uh, uh, I'm teaching part of the uh, 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 PhD macro module. Uh, 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 again, just well, that's more recreational, I will uh, call, because it's uh, you know addressing students uh, uh, which are already at the uh, research phase, so just they already have an idea about what they really want to do. So it's really much more interactive. Uh, but yes, my teaching is very much concentrated on macroeconomics and monetary economics. A lot, actually. I, uh, um, I mean, uh, students, Burpex students are very specific and very special, really. Uh, um, so they um, are often working at the, our MSc economics students are working uh, often at the government uh, uh, in some form or, uh, um, uh, or in the financial uh, part of London, uh, um, banks, and uh, um, so there are students coming from the Bank of England, from Treasury, from uh, uh, um, just different government sector, uh, different government departments. Um, and their demands are very much shaped by the contemporary events, basically. Uh, so, and uh, I think uh, my research more or less uh, uh, is very much in line with the to topics, basically, that are being discussed out there as well. So then I try to bring in uh, uh, as much as I can, basically, to the teaching as well from my research. So given that I do, uh, uh, quite a bit of uh, applied uh, and uh, theoretical economics, so I can provide them with new data uh, or with uh, uh, new modeling issues out there, uh, uh, and uh, uh, hope them hope they are that keeps them happy. Yeah. They they are very uh, unique, really, because I think it uh, uh, requires a major effort, actually, just well to have a full time work out there, and then. Willing to do an MSc, which is very challenging, uh, technically very demanding. So it really takes away, uh, um, I think, uh, uh, not only the you know the evenings but also the weekends. Uh, uh, so uh, their expectations are uh, set at very high level, uh, uh, and uh, um, so they uh, are demanding students. Just and that's excellent thing for because just and you have to be always alert. Uh, uh, of the things that uh, are happening around you, and uh, that also feeds back to your research. So there is, I think, a two-way really influence. Actually, the teaching, uh, in a way, informs research as well because you are much more alert. You know, beyond what you read in the uh, uh, newspapers, etc., that's basically being discussed, but also their actual experiences as uh, traders or as uh, Bank of England officials. So they are basically uh, uh, concerns, uh, uh, what's really going on, uh, are uh, very quickly available to you. And uh, that's interesting and insightful. Uh, um, but uh, uh, also, I think on the other hand, just sort of, uh, uh, so we like to, we cannot replicate the, you know, just the real world uh, in a model. So it's, uh, so we try to basically approximate it with a certain model uh, that's parsimonious, easy to uh, understand, as easiest to be uh, understood by the students. Uh, uh, so uh, um, I think that gives them also a framework uh, to think about you know, the very complex phenomena in a much more uh, uh, simplified way. Uh, 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 and, uh, um, uh, and we try to basically inform that as much as possible uh, with, with research uh, input.